Good morning and welcome to the Wex Wake Up. I'm Christy Matino. Our top story this morning, the special prosecutor in the fatal Rust movie shooting case announced her resignation on Tuesday. This decision comes just weeks after Alec Baldwin's legal team claimed her participation was unconstitutional. The attorney, Andrea Reeb, is the New Mexico state representative. Baldwin's team argued that acting as a member of both the judicial and legislative branches of the state government was unconstitutional. The office of New Mexico's first judicial district attorney shared the following statement on behalf of Reeb. It reads, my priority in this case has been justice for the victim. However, it has become clear that the best way I can ensure justice is served in this case is to step down so that the prosecution can focus on the evidence and the facts. Baldwin pleaded not guilty to involuntary manslaughter last month. His lawyer declined to comment on Reeb's resignation. And President Biden rolling out a new executive order on guns. Biden visited Monterey Bay, California on Tuesday for the signing ceremony. That's the site of the deadly Lunar New Year mass shooting. The new executive order aims to increase the number of background checks to buy guns and promote more secure firearm storage. The order will also help local law enforcement agencies make use of resources included in the bipartisan gun control law Biden signed back in 2022. My executive order directs my attorney general to take every lawful action possible, possible to move us as close as we can to universal background checks without new legislation. I just, it's just common sense to check whether someone is a felon, a domestic abuser, before they buy a gun. The president said he'd also direct his cabinet to make sure states understand the benefits of red flag laws, which are intended to temporarily remove guns from people with potentially violent behavior. And more layoffs coming to Meta. The social media giant will lay off 10,000 workers in the newest round of job cuts. The big tech company is trying to save costs after a tough period for Silicon Valley. CEO Mark Zuckerberg said the company is cutting 13% of its workforce as part of its year of efficiency. Now, if this sounds familiar, it's because Meta just had a large round of layoffs back in November cutting 11,000 jobs to recover from declining revenue streams. And this is a fun story. Scotland's finest fashion show is coming to DC. And the best part is it's all for a great cause. So the show is called Dressed to Kilt. It features several former Navy SEALs showing off their modeling skills on the catwalk, all while wearing kilts. Now the proceeds from this year's show will benefit the Navy SEAL Foundation. The show is usually held in New York City, but for the 20th anniversary, they will be here in DC for the first time. Dress to Kilt has received support from many A-list celebrities in the past, with the likes of Sir Sean Connery, Anne Hathaway, the Victoria's Secret models, and even Donald and Ivanka Trump walking in the show in previous years. Now, because we're doing the 20th anniversary show here in, in Washington, uh, we're getting a lot of requests from SEALs former SEALs, and we'll put in as many in the show as, as, as we can get. We have no idea how, you know, how it's going to be received here after the show, but we're hoping that, that it'll be well received by the Washington community. And then we'll, you know, we'll consider doing it again if people want us to do it again here next year. And I will also be walking in the show on behalf of the Washington Examiner. It's going to be on April 1st and tickets are on sale now. I would love to see you there. And that's the news on the Wex Wake Up. Be sure to follow us online and on social media so you stay in the know of all the headlines trending in politics.